What is the latest EFL Championship transfer news? Welcome back to yet another video today guys. We are now into the month of July where the majority of the summer business does go through. Before we get into this video today guys, do feel free to share your thoughts on your club's business so far. It's still quite early into the summer transfer window, but share your thoughts down below on the done deals and the rumours and we're going to talk about some of them today. Before we get into this video, let's go for 300 likes and if you like your transfer window content then please do make sure of course to subscribe as well and we'll do more championship transfer videos and we'll also do some Premier League ones. This is the first video we've done on this summer transfer window so let's have a little catch up on the managers then first of all at Watford we have seen Valerie and Ismail come in following the end of Chris Wilder's contract this certainly has potential to be a good appointment Watford obviously with an expectancy to push towards the playoffs and get back to the Premier League this season and Ismail is experienced at this level I just pray for God's sake that Watford don't get rid of him after just a few games on to Cardiff City have brought in Iro Balut after Lamucci's contract had ended once again there's potential here for this to be a good appointment Cardiff City really need it to pay off and they really need to hit the ground running this season. Will he be bringing players in from overseas and across Europe? It will be interesting to see but with Cardiff City there is that expectancy that they could be in another relegation battle next season. On to Southampton who have brought in Russell Martin after Ruben Sellers' contract had ended. Once again I think this could be a really good one. I think Russell Martin we all expect to deliver with this style of football that he plays. He plays possession based football it's quite nice on the eye. Once again with Southampton there's an expectancy for them to perform well having just come down and with the parachute payments as well this could be a nice fit to see Southampton push up to the Premier League. On to Leicester City who've brought in Enzo Maresca after Dean Smith's contract came to an end. I'll just echo what I said about Southampton a team that's come down with a lot of expectancy they're going to have one of the strongest teams we've ever seen in the championship and they've already had quite a lot of business go through we'll come on to the players in a minute. At Swansea City they have replaced Russell Martin by bringing in Barnsley's Michael Duff. Now I quite like Michael Duff I think he did a fantastic job for Barnsley last year they did just fall short at getting promoted to the championship in the league one playoff final it obviously could have been a very different picture here for Barnsley if they'd have gone up but Michael Duff has gone into Swansea it will be interesting to see how he gets on over to Sheffield Wednesday where they are yet to bring in a manager but we need to touch on Darren Moore going out the door we did briefly touch on this the other day and I just want to mention it again because it is just such a shame because I feel like Darren Moore really deserved a crack at the championship with Sheffield Wednesday anyway Sheffield Wednesday fans now need to look forwards and see what managers they can bring in because they've got a massive championship season ahead of them I have seen the likes of Slaven Bilic Dean Smith and Nathan Jones all get linked with this job. Sheffield Wednesday fans do share your thoughts because I'd imagine you'll be appointing a manager very soon. And finally at Huddersfield Town, Neil Warnock has signed a new one year deal with the club. I think this is fantastic. I just love to see Neil Warnock in the championship and he did do a great job with Huddersfield last year. Obviously he's got previous with Huddersfield Town he managed them back in the 90s and got a promotion with them of course. But last time around I think he did an amazing job because Huddersfield did look dead and buried until he came in. Can he take them one better and get them higher up in the championship this coming season? So then let's move on to some of the players in the recent deals that have gone through. Let's start off with Hull City who have brought in Liam Delap from Manchester City on a loan deal. Now the forward was on loan at Stoke City and Preston North End last season. For Stoke City he made 22 appearances scoring three goals for Preston North End. 15 appearances scoring just the one goal. It will be interesting to see how Hull City utilise this man. Will he come straight into that starting 11 or will he be a player on the bench for the Tigers? Share your thoughts if you're a Hull City fan. What's your thoughts on this player coming in through the door? On to Leicester City and the big story the other day was James Madison has gone from Leicester City to Tottenham Hotspur for 40 million and at the same time Harry Winks from Tottenham has come into Leicester City as well as Connor Cody from Wolverhampton Wanderers. Connor Cody obviously a very experienced centre-back international 275 appearances for Wolves and obviously spent last season on loan at Everton where he made 24 appearances. As for Harry Winks the 27 year old made over 120 appearances for Tottenham Hotspur over the last nine years but he didn't actually play for Tottenham last season. Will he come into this Leicester City starting 11. I'm intrigued to see the business so far from Leicester City. Maresca looks like he's been busy and he's getting straight into it for the Foxes. On to Joe Bryan moving from Fulham to Millwall on a free. The 29 year old left back made 105 appearances for Fulham in five years. I think this is an absolutely fantastic signing for Millwall especially on a free. This guy's going to bring so much experience into that back line. Sheffield Wednesday have brought in Blackpool's Reese James on an undisclosed fee deal. The 29 year old defender has re-signed from Blackpool after a loan spell last season. It obviously looks like Sheffield Wednesday they were impressed by what they saw in Rhys James last year. He actually made 25 appearances for the Owls. Next up to Birmingham City where they have brought in Ethan Laird from Manchester United. It does seem as if Birmingham City like to sign some Manchester United young products. This one an undisclosed fee deal. The 21 year old right back spent last year on loan at Queen's Park Rangers making 32 appearances. Birmingham City have also re-signed Christian Bielik from Derby County.
Chelsea, the 25-year-old Polish international has re-signed from Derby after a loan spell last year where he made 35 appearances. So far, I must say I'm quite impressed by Birmingham City's business. These players look like good additions to that team. Can they really push on next season? Obviously, there's going to be a few more players they want to get in through the door, but I like to see their business going through quite early. On to Tom Ince, who's gone from Reading to Watford on an undisclosed fee deal. The 31-year-old forward scored nine goals in 33 appearances for Reading last year. It will be interesting to see if Tom Ince comes straight into that Watford starting eleven at the start of the new season. I do feel like he's quite a versatile player, can play forward, can play attacking midfield, he can actually play out wide as well. On to Paul Smith, who's gone from Leighton Orient to Queen's Park Rangers on a free. The 25-year-old forward has returned after two years at Leighton Orient, where he scored 13 goals in 62 appearances. I find this deal quite interesting because Paul Smith went from Queen's Park Rangers to Leighton Orient in 2021, two years later, and he's making the return journey. Jay De Silva has now officially signed for Coventry City from Bristol City. It is now a done deal. Now, this one we did know was going to go through quite a few weeks ago, but it has now officially gone through. And I think this is quite an interesting addition to Coventry's back line. I think this is probably one of the areas we need to strengthen most this summer. I feel like Coventry City are a bit short on defenders. And this deal doesn't entirely surprise me. We are used to bringing in former Chelsea fullbacks. I think that link with AD Vyvash has probably played a role here. And I feel like before we've been able to get a tune out of players that Bristol City haven't been able to. Casey Palmer springs to mind. Liam Walsh as well. Sticking with Coventry City, on to some of the championship rumours. And Victor Jokeres is still a Coventry City player at this moment in time. But Coventry City fans at this moment in time are expecting to see him go. Now he has expressed that he wants to leave the club. He wants to play at a higher level. Level. Sporting Lisbon looks to be the strongest link at this moment in time. So many stories are coming out that it's a done deal at this moment in time. Nothing is confirmed, but they were saying how he's packed his bags. We've also seen Premier League teams like Everton and Burnley come in for him. Some of those clubs have been offering player plus cash deals. It'd be interesting to see what option Coventry City go with. On to Swansea City star striker Joel Perot, who's been linked with a couple of championship clubs. I think the main link here is with Leicester City, and it doesn't surprise me. I do think when you get teams that have come down from the Premier League, they are able to prize away some championship clubs players with the parachute payment money they'll have as well. And Joel Perrault is definitely proven at this level. I think that would be a good signing for a team like Leicester City, I won't lie. Millwall's attacking midfielder Zine Fleming has also been linked with a couple of moves as well. Zine Fleming is an absolutely fantastic player. He really proved himself at Millwall last year. He made 44 appearances, scoring 15 goals. And once again, I feel like this player is quite versatile. You can play this guy up top, attacking midfield, or probably on the sides as well. And finally, Leicester City striker Jamie Vardy has been linked with a couple of clubs, a couple in the Championship, a couple in the Premier League and a couple from the Saudi League. Now I'm not a Leicester City fan but I will admit it'll be great to see Jamie Vardy in the Championship next year. I know he's getting older but if Leicester City do have him going into the start of the new season then you're guaranteed goals with this guy and what an incredible journey it would be from a player who took them up to the Premier League, won the Premier League with them, came down again and got back there with them. This would be one hell of a story. Will Jamie Vardy be going? Do share your thoughts. So then guys, they are some of the latest deals and rumours developing in the Championship at the moment. As I say guys, do share your thoughts down below. Let me know what activity you think I've missed and what your club's latest business is looking like. We will be touching on the Premier League as well soon and if you want to see another championship video on the transfers do make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. We will see you all in the next one. Peace out.